active treble cut filter. Active filters are based upon the inverting amplifier circuit. And remind ourselves that we've got the uh, voltage gain of, of an inverting amplifier is minus RF over RN. We're not going to worry about the minus sign because taking logs of negative numbers is impossible. In this case, we're going to put a capacitor in the feedback uh, in parallel with the resistor. And we're going to see what effect this makes. So the rule we're going to use here is that resistors in parallel the total resistance is going to be approximately the smallest resistor of the two if one of them is significantly larger than the other. So let's look at low frequencies. Remember from the passive filters, the capacitor's got a large reactance at low frequencies, so therefore the feedback impedance is going to be approximately the resistor RF, which is going to be mean that the gain is constant RF over RN. So at low frequencies, we've got a constant gain of RF over RN. High frequencies, capacitor's got small reactance, which means that this is going to be the dominant um, resistor, in this case, or resistance. So what we're going to get, the gain of this one, is going to be the reactance of the capacitor divided by RN, and this is going to get very small at high frequencies, which means that the gain is going to get very small. So the gain gets smaller at high frequencies. And the frequency at which these two regimes change is called the break frequency. And we calculate this using 1 over 2 pi RC. In this case, we're using the feedback resistor because that's in the same part of the circuit as the capacitor. And if we go to 10 times the break frequency, we're going to get a tenth of the maximum gain. So we've got an example here. Here's the uh, characteristic graph where we've got gain against frequency. We can see that we've got a gain of 2.5 at low frequencies. 160 hertz is the break frequency. And in this particular example, let's say that the input impedance is going to be 20 kiloohms. So we've got this one here. We've got to calculate these values. So the way to do this, first of all, you need to work out the feedback resistor. And you can use gain is RF over RN for this one. Rearrange it to get RF, um, RF equals gain times RN, and if we put the values in, we end up with 50k. So 50k resistor, 20k resistor will give us a gain of 2.5 at low frequencies. Next, what we've got to do is work out the value for the capacitor. So using 1 over 2 pi RC, and re rearrange this. This is a really easy formula to rearrange because everything ends up at the bottom of the fraction. So we've got C equals 1 over 2 pi R times F naught. And the resistor we're going to use, because it's in the same part of the circuit as the capacitor, we're going to use the feedback resistor. Put the values in, and we end up with 20 nanofarads.